Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. So Jim and Bill are driving down the, the uh, highway, and uh, they come around a corner, and here they see Ole and Sven. They're standing by the side of the road, and they've got a sign up that says, The end is near. And Jim looks over at Bill, and he says, Oh, those kooks, you know, pro- com- uh, complaining or, or uh, predicting the end of the world, you know, how do they know? I mean, even the Bible says that nobody knows, not even the Son knows, but, the, but only the Father. And so they go zipping on by, and Oli and Sven hear them, they go around the corner, and there's a big crash. And Oli turns to Sven, and he says, do you think maybe we should have put bridge out on the sign? So today we have this prediction from Jesus about what will happen. What will happen before the end of the world comes. And a lot of people today are predicting that we're really close. I mean, we see all of these terrible things happening and we, we watch it on the news and, and um, it, it puts fear and terror into people's lives. Because we think that things are so much worse uh, than they have ever been. Well, I would like you to uh, turn and watch the screens for just a, a, just a few minutes. Um, Ted Rosling is a Swedish uh, scientist. Uh, he passed away uh, a year or so ago. And um, he's a statistician. And... and so he, he does these, uh, he has done this TED Talk. Um, he also has a book out called Factfulness. And so I'd like us to uh, listen to what he has to say uh, a little bit. <laughs> but it was you. You were three times 
sometimes better than the Swedes, you know, but that's not enough. You shouldn't compare yourself to Swedes, you know. You've got the higher ambitions in the world. Let's look at the next answer here. Women in school. Here you can see men when they're eight years. How long did women go to school? Well, we ask the Swedes like this. And that gives you a hint, doesn't it? The right answer is probably the one where fewest Swedes pick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. Here we come. Yes, 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 women have almost catched up. This is the US public. This is the US public. And this is you. Here you come. Ooh. Well, congratulations, you're trying to do that the Swedes, but you don't do me. So, so, how come? I think it's like this, that everyone is aware of that there are countries and there are areas where girls have great difficulties. They are stopped when they go to school, you know, and it's, it, it's disgusting. But in the majority of the world, where most people in the world live, most countries, Girls today go to school as long as boys, more or less. That doesn't mean that gender equity is achieved, not at all. They still, still are confronted to terrible, terrible limitations. But schooling is there in the world today. Now, we miss the majority. When you answer, you answer according to the worst places. And there you are right, but you miss the majority. What about poverty? Well, it's, it's very clear that poverty here was almost half. And in US, when we asked the public, only 5% got it right. Huh? And you? Ah, you almost made it to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Is is, are the actual statistics and facts surprising to you? That the world is not actually getting worse, but in many ways getting better. Did you know that in 2019, fewer people will die during the war than any other time in recorded history? Yeah. There have been fewer people dying in wars in 2019. Jesus, in talking with the people in, in our gospel lesson today, starts out by saying, you will hear of wars and rumors of war, you will hear of insurrections, you will hear of earthquakes and floods and all kinds of things, but what does he say? Do not be terrified. The problem that we have in our world today is we can instantly see and hear about horrible things happening anywhere in the world. Someone with a cell phone can um, uh, record an incident and, and we, we can see that. We can watch it on, on the TV news or we can watch it on our computer or things like that and, and we feel we feel like, like the world is just out of control. But Jesus is here today to tell us that God, God is still active and working and powerful in the world. In, in some ways, I, I think the uh, the, the number that is probably the most telling in all of that is, is the, the number of people who died during natural disasters. Um, I don't think there are any fewer natural disasters. There, there are probably, you know, still there are earthquakes, there are tornadoes, there are hurricanes, there are droughts and things like that. And, think about this, since 1900, how much greater is the world's population now than it was in 1900? I mean, we've billions of people more now. Yet, those who die from natural disasters, remember the statistic? Half a million in 1900? 
less than 100,000 maybe toward that. This is, this is about our faith. This is about what do we believe. This is about who do we trust. Jesus is telling us, don't, you, you may hear all of these dire predictions. And the reality is, like, like Professor Rossling said, there are terrible things that happen in the world, yes. Jesus even said, some of you will be killed because you are my, my disciples. You, are, you, you go out in my name. And that does happen. But the reality is, even in the midst of those uh, reports we hear in the news and in the reports that we see on our cell phone and those videos and things like that, God, God is continuing to work and God is continuing to bless us and the world in which we live. Jesus is saying, don't, don't be led astray by people who, who will tell you, well, you know, this and that and the other thing are signs that God doesn't exist, are signs that God is not at work in the world. Well, we just saw we just saw some huge, huge, huge evidence of the fact that God is active and working in the world. Will there be terrible things? Yes. There will be terrible things that happen in the world. And, and our hearts break and we become heartsick because of them. But today Christ is calling us to faith, to trust and to hope, knowing knowing that our God is faithful and will continue to be faithful until the end. Amen.